Well, an iconic and unforgettable moment in world history right here, Neil Armstrong uh, making history as the first human to step on the moon. That was back in 1969, I'm old enough to remember it very well. Purdue is known as the cradle of astronauts. It's now pushing the next phase of space exploration to Mars in a visual way. Mary Rachel Redman has the story. There must be some kind of way out of here. Okay, so let's do the math. I have enough food to last for 50 days. Remember this? Matt Damon living on Mars. That's Hollywood's version. Purdue University writing its own script for the next big adventure to outer space. As the creative cradle of astronauts, uh, we firmly believe that when we make it to Mars, a Boilermaker will be in the lead. So we decided to bring that heroic vision to life in the form of a short film. Purdue launching Boilers to Mars, the university's first ever short feature film aimed at attracting students interested in continuing Purdue's dominance and reputation as a world leader in aviation. We are go for launch. Ready to change history. Boilers to Mars. The 10 minute film follows the academic and professional careers of four fictional Purdue students who ultimately become part of the first historic mission to Mars. Starting with making it to Mars and then going backwards of what did that journey look like until essentially that first moment um, where that young person is interested in, in, in applies and applies and Googles Purdue. For Purdue, it's all about connecting its past aviation history to the future, dating all the way back to trailblazer Amelia Earhart. No other phase of modern progress contrived to maintain such a brimming measure of romance and beauty coupled with utility as does aviation. To Neil Armstrong. You're coming down the ladder now. I'm uh, at the foot of the ladder. The limb footbeds are only uh, uh, depressed in the surface about uh, one or two inches. I'm going to step off the limb now. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The university joined the rest of the world around TV receivers to watch the historic flight of Apollo 11, commanded by Purdue alumnus Neil Armstrong. What else is out there in the galaxy? Only time will tell. But in the meantime, keep an eye on Purdue University to continue leading exploration in space. For Inside Indiana Business, I'm Mary Rachel Redmond. Absolutely no wonder why they call Purdue the cradle of astronauts. Neil Armstrong wanted to get this 27 Purdue alums to venture to go where very few of us have gone to outer space. And that uh, history, that heritage at Purdue continues today.